there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome to Morning Tide. It's a pun, it's a play on words. I saw Michael Blair played this really, really quickly recently and I decided I will give it a go for myself instead of watching his video. Maybe I'll watch his video after this. It's a game about fishing. It's a game about fishing. I'm not entirely sure how we fish. Oh, we click. That's, oh, what the hell? So what, we just keep it in the circle? This, uh, this is like Red Dead Redemption kind of fishing. I love this uh, kind of fishing, actually. This is a good mechanic. All right, we've caught ourselves what looks like some kind of perch, maybe? It's definitely not a tuna, way too small. And we stick it in here. So that's all I know about the game. We're just fishing, and then we stick it in the bucket. That's what Markiplier showed me, and that's what I'm going to do. Right, let's fire in. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's another one. This is unusually fast. I've seen a lot of fishing games be significantly slower than this. What have we found? Is this a, uh, an anchovy, maybe? A gigantic anchovy? Maybe? We can't, like, uh, go anywhere, can we? There's a, a photo of somebody there. And a bunch of cans of food. Can we turn the handle? No. Oh, we can, we can hump the, um... Oh my, I'm not sure if I can show this on, on YouTube. We, we can hump the helm. <laughs> that's what, that's, that's our name. Henry Helm Humper. Ah, been a long time since I've seen normal dry land. Just here, out with her, my ship. Hump in the helm, of course, as I'm famous for. Okay, why is it still alive? That's unusual. How far can we cast? Not very far indeed. Okay. What's up with this line? What's it doing? Can we jump into the water? Is there anything worth catching? Oh, here we go. We've got something. We're catching our thing. Okay, so there may be boots here. There may be like a waste of time kind of valuables out there, but you know, the real reward is the journey along the way, isn't it? What is up with <laughs> this fishing rod feels like a female designed it after the male penis. As opposed to the female penis, which is a, a, a little different. A, li a little rarer, I would say, the female penis. Why is it when I play something relaxing, I just default to penis chat? It's so strange. Maybe, maybe it's a Freudian thing. Okay, what do we get here? What the hell is this? It's got a face! Sir? Oh, the sky's darkening. Ugh. I actually hate that. In you go. You creep. Great, we've collected him. Ew. You shouldn't have, Henry Helmhumper. Gross. What the hell is that? I can literally see something like below the surface of the water. This is actually a really fun mini game, by the way. Um, if there was a game that actually had a fishing mechanic like this, I'm sure it would do incredibly well. Although I haven't played many fishing games. I usually just play lots of huge RPGs that end up having fishing elements to it. Like Stardew Valley. Oh, what's wrong with this? Oh! Oh dear! Okay, in you go. Why do we have these? Why do we have these? This isn't like an allegory for something bigger, is it? Like there's, there may actually be law here. Okay, the skies are darkening still. The sun's going down. Oh, we've got another one. Got another one very, very quickly. Okay. I feel like there's law in here. I, uh, uh, it's tucking away at me. I feel like there's law in here. Like maybe, potentially we're like, okay, we got another one of these stingrays. Uh. Uh. Okay. Why is the ocean red? We may be a, a murderer of some sort. I'm starting to suspect that we may be a murderer and we're potentially getting these victims from an endless sea of faces. That's, that's what my brain is telling me right now. But. All of this is subtext and reading between lines, so it's 
really, really difficult to elucidate. Man, this guy is really hard to catch. Wait, is that supposed to be the point? Is this guy supposed to be kind of like be an elusive target? On on the hitman? No! Oh, that was close. We almost lost him. Okay, we, we're losing him. Oh, we lost him. Mission failed. We'll uh. next time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. This is probably the same fella, right? We also can't really see what we're necessarily doing. We can't see the ring sometimes on account of the, uh... The water, uh, bubbling and brooking. What the hell is this? Is this supposed to be like a horse's penis or something? I'm pretty sure it's got a mouth. So it might be some kind of sea cucumber, but it's... I, I just don't know. What are these things? Okay, we got a normal faced fish. We got a, um... We got that. We also have uh, this stingray, which may be a normal faced fish, but it also fights back, perhaps? Oh, no, I'm just spitballing. We've, we've got a couple of these stingrays, actually. I don't think they would represent individual people on account of the fact that we have caught multiples of them so far. Pretty, pretty reliably so far. We've caught multiples. Oh, no! Don't want to break the line. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. We got another one of these gigantic sea cucumber horse penises. Great. And they're just fiddling around inside of our chum bucket now. Yuck. That is revolting. That is actually disgusting. What are we going to catch next? A boot with a human face on the bottom? So that every time we, we, we step... Oh, it's another one of these fish with the face on it. I can actually see it poking its head out from the water. Every time we take a step on the boot, the face just, like, gets squished into the ground. That would be very serial killer, wouldn't it? Okay, we've got another one of these guys. Okay, so... Bl oh, Blood Ocean. Is this maybe, like, um... Hell? Have we been committed to hell? And we are, like, forced to fish up representations of our victims. Maybe. It's also raining blood. Full Slayer. <laughs> you know the one, right? Raining blood by Slayer. This one's an easy catch. What's the catch? Taking a while. Throw it back. Oh! <coughs> I actually tried to throw it back. The sea whispers secrets, tales untold, of a man undone by jealousy's plight. And morning I sail, my guilt takes hold, a tragic tale of love turned to blight. A wife unfaithful, or so I believed, in shadows of doubt, my love I deceived. Now sailing the path where morning does tread for a son lost to jealousy's dread. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I know this one. I know this one. I know exactly what's happened here. We are actually a murderer in hell, right? But instead of like looking for the victims in the endless sea of faces, they represent the people that we kill. There was the stingray. There was the fish with a face on it. And of course, Batty. There was also the sea cucumber. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. As soon as I find these fish and I will uh, collect them for you, we'll kind of like look at them and analyze them as we see them. I think that the baby represents an unborn child or maybe born child because this guy said that jealousy was what led to these people being killed. So if jealousy really did lead to these people being killed, then he would have assumed that his wife had been cheating on him with another man and he killed his wife and the other man. What he didn't, maybe, maybe the baby was born. Maybe, maybe it wasn't born. But see, here's the thing. If the child was unborn, then he wouldn't have consciously killed the baby, right? He wouldn't have done that at all. If he consciously killed the baby, then he would deserve to be in hell for what he did. This is the stingray. Yeah, so I think this is supposed to represent the, the, the woman, 
and the relationship. The the wife or the, the lover. Not the lover of the, the girl, but our lover. I think this is her. It's got very feminine features and it stings. It certainly stings. Right? That's why it's got a stinger. Love stings. The, the, the sting of betrayal. I have no idea what the sea cucumber with the teeth is going to represent. Unless it's the parasite of jealousy itself. I think the extras are supposed to be non-canonical. The ones we stick in here are non-canonical. And I think that the ones we stick up on the wall over there are actually indicative of the story itself. So the next one I imagine is going to be, yeah, here we go. The fish with the face on it. I think that this is the lover of the wife, the man, I would assume, by the masculine features, that the wife cheated on us, the protagonist, with. It almost looks like a catfish in a way, doesn't it? Which would be kind of a strange joke. So the next one is the baby. And instead of depositing the baby, we just ate the baby, which is weird. Don't know why we did that. Can we maybe eat the rest of these? No, we only deposit them immediately after sticking them in the hole. This is the... This is what I assume to be the parasite of jealousy. Because it, it, jealousy is a parasitic feeling. I've felt it a bunch of times before I realised it was just a, a vain thing to feel. I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to represent anything else. I think it's supposed to be kind of like an eel. But it looks more like a tapeworm, if anything else. So, that was our crime, right? The crime that we did, our murders, are already up on the board. And right here, we are about to find what ended up committing us to hell in the first place, I think. I believe. I believe that this is the cause of why we're in this blood ocean in such a, a horrible place. Oh, finally, we got a normal fish. With eye an eyeball. It didn't make any noise. Don't think we've had... Oh, maybe we have had it before, but we just didn't... No, no we didn't notice the eyeball. Ah, oh, that's gross. That's creepy. That's weird. I don't like that. That's really gross. So this one, we should just leave this alone. This should be baby, right? I think it's baby. Yep, this is baby. Let's try and, like, release baby. See what happens. I release baby. Nothing happens. Okay, so it's canon that we catch the baby. Which is probably why we're here realistically, right? Okay, we've got baby. So I don't know if this is a newborn or if it's still in the uh, uterus. But one thing's for certain, we led to its death. We led to its demise, didn't we? Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be us eating the baby. Or not. Yeah, we read this. Okay, I think that's what's, that's what's happening in this game right here. I think that the baby is basically just a casualty of what was otherwise revenge killings out of the jealousy of being cheated on. So, in saying that, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for the one and done spookers that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!